And when Hezekiah saw that Sennacherib was coming and that he was determined to fight against Jerusalem, he took counsel with his princes and his mighty men to stop the waters of the springs which were outside the city, and they did help him. So there gathered a large group of people together, and they stopped up all the springs in the brook that ran through the midst of the land, saying, Why should the kings of Assyria come and find much water? We are now at the Gihon Spring. It contains an enormous amount of water. Prior to Hezekiah's rule, all this water flowed outside the city through irrigation channels to the fields of the people and to the king's gardens. When he prepared Jerusalem for the Assyrian siege, Hezekiah worried that the mighty army of Assyria would camp outside the city walls, gaining access to the city's water source. He decided to prevent their use of the water by blocking and sealing the springs outside the city, including the Gihon Spring. He diverted the spring's water into an underground tunnel, which had been quarried into the heart of the mountain. Two groups of masons worked towards each other from both sides and met in the middle of the tunnel. And the water flowed from the source to the pool. The tunnel ends at the Pool of Siloam, which was inside the city behind protective walls. The account of this engineering wonder is mentioned explicitly in the Bible and is also documented in the Shiloh inscription, which was discovered six meters from the end of the tunnel. This is a copy of the inscription written in ancient Hebrew letters. It describes the dramatic moment when the two groups met inside the tunnel. The masons were swinging their axes one towards the other, and they heard the voice of one man calling his fellow. And on the day of the tunneling, the masons bore through, one man towards his fellow, axe upon axe, and the water flowed from the source to the pool for 1,200 cubits.